Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Seven Days of Valencia. It's me, JD Sensei. How are we doing? Let me go drop off some. Actually, before I leave, actually, 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 I forgot to check my. Uh, one of these was finishing up. Ah, this one. Okay. Ah, it's a minute. We can wait that out. Let me check my inventory real quick so overnight we almost made five thousand and most of our fertilizer is done so we can finish that up today too um thing i need first is my hammer because i did hear uh, a couple of screamers outside and sound like somebody was whacking on a wall somewhere out there so we'll go see if we can find that only 30 left so I think it did better than running back in later you know going all the way in and all the way back I redid my shovel made sure that was in a good place and I took the shotgun just because I'm gonna move that to the sellables downstairs all right let's get this show on the road I looked at my ammo too I'm sitting on friggin almost 4,000 rounds, so I can use the subby a little, mo uh, little more if I want to. I also upgraded my uh, auger, took the blade out, updated it, and redid the bars and the engines. So it's a purple now, so uh, it's a lot better than what it was. All right, let's see if we can find out where these Nimrods decided to do damage. I have the wrench in here. Let's throw this in here. So remember it. All right. So I'm assuming these goofballs were actually in my base. So let me see where they were. I came outside too to see if I could see. Oh uh, yeah, this is where they were. Okay. Uh, we can fix that. A little bit of damage, but nothing major. Except this one. They were working pretty hard on it. But that was like all night of them beating on it. And that's the best they could do. So I'm good with that. I wonder where she was hung up. They sounded like they were right out here. But I came up and I went up onto the sniper tower just to see if uh, I could see anything. And I didn't see anything. Let's see if there's any more damage. Oh, yeah, a little bit right over here, too. Not the major, just like I said, they kind of came over here and were bumping around on stuff just for giggles, I guess. Not that I really got to worry about. Uh, a little bit of damage right here, too. Okay. Well, wasn't a lot. I didn't think it would be much. Huh. I thought I heard wood breaking, too, but I could be wrong about that. Let me go take a quick look-see. Let's see what we got going on. Maybe somebody came in on the backside of something. I don't really see anything. Nothing I'm really paying attention to, but I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Thought maybe somebody came and rubbed up against something. Uh, it didn't happen, it looks like. Let me just go check the farm and we'll throw in the uh, next group of uh, fertilizer, too. Had to be relatively close. It can't be far away. So if they did spawn and walk on something, they would have done the damage up close, I would assume. But I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary, so I'm going to go with the assumption that uh, sound effects were a little weird, that's all. I know we got other bits and pieces around here that need to have a little more love.
And just drop in whatever else will fit. Okay, I'm out. I still need a little more, but uh, for now, let's throw in the coffee beans. Doesn't really matter. Because they kept telling people I was going to do this at some point. So I'm fine with not having it 100% fertilized. Um, we'll uh, get more in the next time we harvest it up. And then we got to start working on a third field. Because yeah, everybody keeps telling me to, uh, to sell the coffee beans. So if I'm, Especially if I'm not going to make coffee. Or I can make coffee and sell that. I wonder if that would be more. But I never thought to sell coffee, and this is like my go-to in uh, Stardew Valley. Early game, early game. Late game, it's always ancient fruit, but, and then ancient wine when I get a uh, uh, brewery up and running. Not sure why, I was like, not sure why it doesn't want to place it there. No? Not happening, huh? No, it did. Why is this being annoying? Why is this whole row being annoying? Not sure. Could just be where they... No? I was going to say, it could just be where they didn't have fertilizer, but... All right, this is going to look good. All right. Let's get out of here and take a quick run around the back just in case and swap out the coffee beans I do have with the shovel I do have. And I'm going to move, hmm, probably the snipey out of the way. I forgot to drop off that damn shotgun, but I'll remember it one of these days. Uh, yeah, not seeing anything out of the ordinary and that... Repair cost was less than a hundred bucks, a uh, hundred concrete, so I can live with that. All right, so we got two little areas to do. You got this little area over here. I think I want to get this side first. So, first thing we need to do so we don't waste a shovel is we need to start bashing these plants out of here so we can finish this up yeah because if you don't do this that shovel has a very bad tendency of hitting where you don't want it to i mean all you got to do is look at my punches that land everywhere grass just messes up the hit detection something fierce and plus we find a little trash and rocks and stuff that we might have missed you know let's get rid of that let's say don't worry about this portion either let me get that at a later date i did want to get these corners done uh, it's not really clear is it off a little bit there we go all right let's start in right here start from right here and then we'll just dig on over until we get a little ways out and then we'll match it up and then hollow it out where is that all right probably want to come up this way now to get it cleared from the center. Okay, that wasn't exactly where we needed to be, but close enough to not be a terrible problem. I think that'll work. That will work. Tempted to put my coat on, but I'm tempted not to. Because I don't want to. 
Okay, now we can just back this stuff out of here. You know, instead of having to worry about uh, making holes around it. A lot of dirt for later use, too. I made up some stuff for the uh, off the off horde base too. We got that, and again, I still do want to work on the mine at some point, um, which you're going to need to do one of these days. Uh, just not an option. Because, well, sand is becoming an issue too. Did I make a hole where I shouldn't have? Yep, I did. Uh, sand is going to become an issue soon, too. Probably another night or two. Then I'll have to go get sand. The sand run will work out, though, because I'm going to need to get more shale, too. Get those oil rigs up and running. My uh, chem station's running on something besides per fertilizer. Of course, if they want to send a random horde to me, I will not say no, because I can use... Sorry, my nose is running. Uh, I can use the uh, rotten meat for more fertilizer, too. I don't mind... Uh, I don't mind shutting down one uh, cement mixer to do that. But at the rate... Overnight, we can make like almost 5,000 concrete. So we're in a very, very good place when it comes to concrete. Took a little while to get everything up and running, move it over, get everything recooked. That took a bit. Now we're in a place, though, where if we want to do something that requires 10 or 15,000 concrete, it's a couple of days. Maybe three. Three days. Also, somebody paged. Freaking work. Probably because I uh, posted um, Sad Day. Um, for those of you who are been around for a long time, or even younger, uh, you probably heard the news that Kira Toriyama passed away yesterday. Or last night? I don't remember. Um, that's Dragon Ball Z, that's uh, Dragon Quest, Chrono Trigger, that's not cool, not cool. I mean, this is only 68 too, so this sucks. It's my, it's our child. Okay, this is getting annoying. You can stop. You can shut up. Thank you. Just started rolling, uh, rolling around, but yeah, that was just sad news. Year of the Dragon's been kind of crappy so far. Just saying. Are you going to take the dude who made Dragon Quest? That's, that's foul. It's whatever. Every year is bad. It, it has bad stuff. It has good stuff, too, but every year has bad stuff. Just a lot of the circles I'm in, gaming, uh, you know, YouTube and stuff like that. It's had just some crazy... And just generally bad stuff happening. I mean, some of it's turning good now. The curatoriama thing sucks, but um, yeah, some of it's really turning around. But there's still some bad stuff going on. I know you guys don't uh, that are in this scene might not be uh, into YouTubers and VTubers and stuff like that. But it's something I keep abreast of. I watch a couple of them. So there's some crazy drama going on in that field right now with a certain company. It's funny, too, because even people who aren't into the scene are starting to see it now. Uh, because people who don't talk about this stuff, you know, just norm, uh, normal VTubers, uh, normal YouTubers are picking up on it and talking about it. Seen everything from Mudahar, Coefficient, uh, Asmon Gold, freaking, yeah, everybody, Penguins, been all over the place. It's just crazy. But I will say, if you're kind of into this and 
you, you know, you're looking for indies and stuff, which I tend to do, or just people you didn't really watch. I mean, I found a bunch of new people to watch, so that worked out. A bunch of people I never heard of, or I've heard of before. It's a whole thing, a whole weird thing with previous lives and all that crap. But... And then just some people I didn't follow anyways, because I don't follow a lot of companies. So, I didn't know who they were, but I didn't watch some of their stuff. And you're like, hey, this isn't too bad. Or they just, you know, play games that I get a kick out of. A lot of Minecraft, a lot of Minecraft, <laughs> we'll say that, but I think one of the, one of them's playing, uh, Enshrouded, which is an interesting game. I was looking at it, uh, I don't play on PC, and it's in early access, so, it's not something I'm like, I'm liable to do, but every time I've seen it, it's everything, it gives me a bunch of different game vibes. Elden Ring, and freaking Bloodborne, and, um, Legend of Zelda. It's like there's some creative stuff in early access. I'll say. There's a bunch of crap too. Uh, there always is. Didn't Steam just like drop 800 games because they were freaking scams and they didn't exist? I'll tell you one of the ones I, I probably won't stream it uh, or you know record it because it's mainly just for me. Because uh, I'm an old school fan, is um, oh god, I'm gonna mispronounce it. Is it Lucidin Chronicles 100 Heroes? It was a uh, crowdfunded. It's basically uh, by the original team, some of the original people that made the original uh, Suikoden for PlayStation One, PlayStation Two. They got together and made a new game in the same style, you know, with the castles and the army battles and all those crazy stuff, mini games, 100 characters, it's wild. I love the OGs, so I'm, I'm, I'm there for that, just saying. All right, so we got this corner done. Yeah, that's going to look a lot better. So the next one we got to do is over here. And should be done with crazy concrete. And the only thing left will be after this is to ring this about here. So, one, two, three. And then do the same thing over here. So, let's just do this for reference sake. So, I know what I'm doing later. All right. This is just reference, so later on when I go to do this, I'm not sitting there going, what did I say? Two, three? You know, like an idiot. Which, let's face it, guys. I'm a professional idiot. You know this. All right. All right. That way we can throw these three down. And this just gives a little more... This will give a little more clarity to what I'm dealing with. This is going to be a bigger area. So, let's bop that out, move to this, let's get these weeds away, let's knock these bad boys away a bit, we go a bit more, there's a freaking dog horde, somewhere, got hung up. Dog horde, all right. One. Did they bring friends? Sounds like it. Yep. Ah, sounded like there was more than one. All right. Or did he get off that? All right. Well, it was a small dog horde. I'm glad I heard him. I need your rotten meat, bro. Uh, you got any more friends? I should keep the machine gun out. Hmm. Huh? Nope. Don't get the cra good crap, please. All right. 
No more dogs, huh? Huh. I wonder if they just spawned in here or what. But they got... That works very well. Just saying. That works extremely well. All right. Worked out. Worked out. Worked out. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. Back to what I was doing. That's the whole reason for the barbed wire. I mean, granted, they can still spawn in from another direction. Make my life miserable. Which they want to do. Won't put it past them. There's probably more dogs around. Somewhere. Wouldn't put it past the game. I'll take that. That works. And I'll completely miss this one. All right, anyways. So. So, so, suck your toe. All the way to Mexico. Uh, I don't know what that means. It's an old thing from when I was a kid. All right, before we were interrupted by the damn doggos. Which was annoying. Now, this is going to be a little weird over here, because this is where it starts to dip. So I might have to do some creative stuff here, just to prevent them from getting stuck. We'll see. That's a pretty long ways out there. Because these are like half-formed. You see how it's very low to the ground? Uh, a couple more. With that one. One more. All right, and that should put us either close to or right on it. Yeah, but that's why I brought out the um, ramps, too. So I can... Oh, no, I was off by one. So I can uh, even it out if need be. If need be. I'm not going to back into my own spikes, right? I would never do something so stupid as that. That would not be something JD would do. He's way too smart for that. <laughs> Everybody's sitting there going, yeah, no, JD will do that crap. That's, that's par for the course. I'll definitely do that. I'll do it, and then I'll have a big-ass smile on my face when I do it, because felt like it hit lower. And my work, my work, uh, teams is blowing up right now. My real work. I'm still on vacation, though, so. Uh, I just posted, uh, that, uh, Toriyama passed away. I know a lot of people, uh, a lot of people over there are big time, uh, DBZ fans, so. It's only 7.50 my time, so it could just be them asking about people that are supposed to show up at 8 and not be in there yet. Could be that, too. I'll look in between recording sessions. So once uh, noontime in-game pops up, I gotta obviously end one, one episode and start another. So, let will take a look, then. I'm getting a little extra recording done, too. I started a day early, so... Because I'm of the opinion I'm going to go back to work, and uh, for whatever reason, it, everything will be a week behind, because it always is. Even though we have a couple of competent people there, um, with one of us being gone, uh, even if you wanted to help out, a lot of times... To the incompetent people we have, it's a pain in the patootie, so that's the thing. Things just get tied up and stuff. There's also a couple of things I want to text about after this, too. I've seen some weird things, uh, some going on, goings on I want to know about. Yeah, my vacation's been freaking weird. Um, swear to God, I've just been... 
I haven't even been watching movies and much anime. I have read a couple of manga, uh, caught up on a bunch of them, but, uh, yeah. Wet boards and just basically being an internet denizen for a week or so. Because, you know, when you work eight, eight to nine hours a day and then, you, you know, you're in commuting an uh, hour or more a day, you know, each way. You know, you get home, especially if you're doing this. I mean, to get home. Sorry, that dirt sound effect lasted longer than I thought it would, so it threw me off. Yeah, but you get home. You know, uh, sometimes I'm happy I, I, I'm not currently in a relationship because, oh my God, I'd have no time to do this. It's just the way I am. I, I very much focus on the relationship when I'm in one, so, yeah, I mean, last one I was in, I didn't game for, like, the entire time, just because, you know, I was focused on what the times I would normally game, because I, I was still working, this, you know, 45 hours a week, you know, with the commute and everything, so, the days I had off were, you know, us time, so. I'd squeeze in an hour or two here or there, but nothing like normal. And certainly not enough time to do this. Actually, if you look at my channel and when it was made, you can see, like, there's a long period of time where nothing happens. That's because, uh, you know, I got in a relationship right when I made the channel. And then I did nothing for, like, three years. Zilch. Because I was busy. <laughs> I mean, I could make one work now, obviously. Be like, yeah, you know, this is what I do. This is what I do in my free time. I don't know. The older you get, the uh, better you get at it. Think of relationships and boundaries and stuff like that. I think. And there's some dumb older people out there that still haven't figured out. I mean... I like to say I'm a child at heart. Based on my age, I identify more with a younger crowd than I do with uh, my peers sometimes. You know, I have uh, one of my peers there, my friends, is, uh, you know, a few years younger, but he's on his fifth child. I was like, bro. I was, yes, I, I, my go-to little gag why I don't have children is like, because then we'd be, be fighting over the video game system. Duh. I am the big child. I don't mean that in uh, the emotional way. I mean, I knew that was coming. I mean that more in the um, a goofball, enjoying myself way. Obviously, I, in my life, uh, even in my very early life, when I was in the military was responsible for millions of dollars worth of equipment. Not an exaggeration either. People like, oh yeah, yeah, he drove a tank or something. No. No, at one point, at one point, uh, my uh, assigned duty assignment was an air traffic control unit in the Marine Corps. And um, normally, Normally, I would be in a laboratory position. That was what my job title was, you know, precision measurement equipment. But at one point, I was detached from that for three years uh, as the only, in my uh, unit, as the only calibration technician for four detachments. So... You can you can make that okay. A, a detachment just to throw it into perspective. Attachment, uh, a Marine Corps detachment for avionic uh, air traffic control, right? Has the equipment to basically go out, set up an entire airfield. Not kidding, you know, with all the radars. So that in. Uh, that encompasses and the support equipment, you know, generators, uh, vehicles, stuff like that. So the only thing I didn't do was 
because uh, Motor T is their own cal has their own calibration uh, section. It's a level lower, I believe. Uh, Motor T has their own, but I would handle all the tech tech uh, test equipment for the various radars, uh, anything they use. So oscilloscopes, uh, communications analyzers, stuff like that. And, that's a lot of equipment, and that's enough. For, and there's four copies of it, three permanent detachments and one uh, uh, reserve detachment. Reserve I didn't really have to worry about, but when you take into account, like, if I remember right, um, the one that was closest to me was detachment B that was right next to me, and I had like 15 oscilloscopes, five uh, communication system analyzers, uh, three or four. Um, uh, where the spectrum analyzers, you had uh, tons of different multimeters, John Flukes, uh, uh, Simpsons. Is it Simpsons? Is it Simpson 260? I can't remember. It's been a long time. Uh, and then various other stuff, FISD, microwave, all that sort of stuff. And I was the only one. I had people above me. You know, I had a van right next to mine, um, but they were, I think that it was a TPM-30? It's an approach radar, I think it is. I don't remember. A little, little thing looks like a freaking uh, little portable microwave, uh, microwave radar dish. But anyways, yeah, I had to handle all that. And like I said, there, were, uh, there was Bravo, Charlie, and Delta detachments. Delta was on the other side of the freaking base. So every week I had to go out there. But yeah, I was responsible for tracking all that equipment, various st states of repair, parts ordering, all of that was me. The main, and I worked out of like uh, section four of the unit. So uh, at one point I did have somebody else with me when I first came up. It was somebody I knew from uh, school, schooling. Um, but, yeah, they were detached back to the main lab. So I was detached to the thing for years. That was crazy. Just the sheer amount of paperwork. And you got to figure at the time, I had to be like 21. And, uh, yeah, just off the top of my head, like, uh, uh, I remember there was a part in one of the, uh, uh, Mike, uh, multimeters that was like $250. Just a part, a single chip inside. So you can imagine something like a, uh, like a Motorola or com communication system analyzer. Uh, it was like, a, what, an R2000? Uh, you know, just doing uh, anything on those things was expensive. And there were a lot of them. I had to keep track of all that stuff. So, you know, I'm used to dealing with that crap. It's just crazy stuff. So you got a 21-year-old in charge of that. But yeah, that uh, kind of plays into why, you know, I, I definitely have the, the ability to be responsible. I choose not to be. That's kind of where this big-ass tangent went. But it was just me describing the fact that... Uh, you know, I didn't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Just saying. I refuse to grow up. But yeah, I have a lot more in common with younger folks. You know, I pay attention to the stuff they pay attention to. Like if I was going to get into B-Tube, and I wouldn't. It's a holy crap is that hard to get into. And it's expensive. A good model will run you like three thousand dollars they say four thousand um the, a lot of the bigger ones say you know yeah you can get in cheap but it's one of those things uh nobody's going to look at an ass quality model and crappy rigging plus all the various equipment having a computer that can run that stuff i actually have a pretty good amount of uh concrete left so we can start in on the uh we can start in on some stuff okay I also want to check these, uh, how much, I, I, it's one of those things where you look at it and your brain doesn't register what you just looked at, so you look again, and then you look again, like when you check your watch and somebody asks what time it is, and you're like, 
I don't know. Like, you know, weird. I just didn't get that. I did remember to finally drop this off. Let's drop everything else off. Basically, the free goodies from the mobs. And that can stay in there for now. I can drop off the eggs for now. I can drop this off. I'm not going to use it that. I'm not going to use it at the moment. Uh, hold on to the other stuff. Okay, I want to take a look at a couple of things real quick. And then we got a little bit more time left in this episode, so we might start in on the loop. And again, I don't really care about the tree farm. That's its own beast over there. Speaking of tree farm, let me just roll on over this way. Yeah, because there's no catch right here. I'm not really getting hung up. But I'm worried about that edge over there. Yeah, this came out really nice. Yeah, but I'm not really worried about this. I might flatten it at some point. You know, so it's more in line with this. But other than that, yeah, and the tree farm. This is the one I harvested last. I think I did them both. It's got about another day or two to grow. That's fine. That's fine. So, yeah, we can start rolling up on the sides. Let me check here. This is fine right here. It's here where I'm starting to get a hitch. So it might be in my best interest to throw some ramps down. Get a couple of these. They're too close. Uh, let me take a look and see where these bad boys are going to flop into this. See how they look. Let's just go... Ah, I guess they're fine. Just looks weird. I wonder if I put one down. Will it pull the dirt up a bit? Yeah, okay. So I could do that. Just drop a few of these in here and just bring this dirt up to where it needs to be. So it doesn't look like ass. That's always an option. Just uh, It's kind of weird you have to do something like this, but... Now, see, if I do that, that'll push the dirt down. I don't want to do that. Yeah, see, that evens it out a little bit. You can do that anywhere, too. But you can actually see... You know... And, yeah, that looks so much better. And you can do this all the way around up a little bit so there's not that little hitch when you're running over it you know because you got to take that little hitch into account see like i said the ai will find anything to get that's when they do that jumping animation where they're you know they're like bouncing off stuff they just start doing the jump they get in those little cracks or you know the game can't decide where they are so it starts doing the jumping animation like they're trying to move in between it. It gets a little weird sometimes. So sometimes it's a good idea just to even out the terrain features a bit. Now, I'd rather have it coming over like this so it's a smooth transition than the reverse, you know? So I guess we could start up this way. So let's uh, bump out this right now. And let's just bash this crap out of here it's a little bit away you know and then we could start here and I, I did a pretty good job over here I think I did a decent job back this away a little bit just like that there we go just a little bit I probably just bash this just a bit further away Again, leaving this stuff here will just give the game, uh, you know, occasionally it'll just bop back your block so it decides to float over it and can cause a misplacement. Which, again, uh, isn't too bad, but isn't too good either. Okay, so we can just do a pretty much a big-ass straight line. Quite a way. Try and keep things headed in the right direction. And again, this is more for style points and to make it look a little bit better than anything else. It's not really required for the build. 
I mean, obviously in between the farms, I am going to do some stuff because I do want that to be better. I, I don't want to look to the right, but I'm talking to the right over there. So, I think I'm just going to take this up to here for now. Up to the end, roughly, and then we'll worry about the rest. Let's put in one row at a time. Let's get the things here. We only got enough to do about um, 90 frames. Just fine. Again, get stuff rolling later today. So I haven't cleared that stuff out. You know, let's just pop that over there. There we go. See? And then you can just clear this out. And then we'll come back through. Throw down the frames. We'll go as far as we can. Son of bitch. Don't do that. Now we're being bonkers. I'm also trying to not get random hit detection with my uh, spikes over here, but you never know. Could be a thing that happens. And again, once we finish up, uh, this central part, you just do wood or something. I don't really care. Could even mine it just for fun. Uh, but you guys know me. I'm dumb. I'll walk right through them at some point. Not a bad thing. I mean, it could literally just spawn right back in and grab my backpack. But end up a meme. Dumb ways to die. So that's a thing. Excuse you. I knew that was sand. It looked like sand. Always happy to get a little bit of free sand from somewhere. Oh, looks like there's a bit more, too. Yeah, I was. Some clay in there. A little bit of everything, huh? Clay, sand, you name it, they got it. I'm in no way, shape, or form running out of sand. I'll tell you that right now. The only other thing this does is ensure that I have to make a shovel uh, to repair this one every night. Which is fine. I don't really care if that's a thing. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be almost done with this crap. And then, like I said, we have other builds and stuff we're going to do, but for right now, this is fine. Let's just drag this back. And then we'll upgrade what we want. Noise like Royce. Okay. Excuse you? What happened here? Must have got out of range. It's the only thing I could think of. Went too far out of range. The only thing that makes sense. Got too far away. It's like, ah, you're too far away to put down another one. I'm like, what? That doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Occasionally, you gotta let go of the stick so it actually places it. Yeah. I'm looking at it now, so it's going to be over, well over 100. Not sure how I missed that, but sure. Yeah, this stick is right up the end of the episode. But that's good. We can start the next episode uh, capping this crap off. You know? It's probably an airdrop today, too. I don't know. It's either today or tomorrow. Not really keeping track. And that's it, guys. We made it to the end of the episode. Let's see how far this can go. I'm just waiting for an airdrop if there is one. It's usually by 12.03, 12.05. 
don't think we're gonna get, so. Uh, I think we're clear. So thank you guys so much for joining me. This has been JD Sensei. This has also been Seven Days to Die. If you like the video, make sure to leave that like. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I do upload every day. Have a great day, guys. I'll catch you in the next vid. Bye now.